Hi there, welcome back. Uh, this is a demonstration of Italian organza. Uh, I don't know what this lure's called. Um, they've given to me to copy by Dash Jones. So you can call it whatever you like. It, it doesn't make any difference to me. But it certainly catches fish. It caught fish at Lady Bar last week. And uh, unfortunately it was the only one it got. So I've had to try and copy it. Right, so the organs I'm going to use, I've trimmed it to a, I don't know if you can see that or not, that sort of shape. I've trimmed it at an angle like that, because I don't want it to completely cover the marabou tail that I'm going to put in. So uh, I'll start off, the, uh, the hook is, uh, well this hook's a barbless hook, it's a, um, Pulling mill uh, heavyweight grub hook. At, uh, you can use a B175 if you want a barbed hook. I like barbless hooks. Uh, I'm going to start off by pulling bead back. Uh, you don't have to do this. You can leave bead loose if you want, but I don't like loose beads. I like. Uh, I don't like them to spin round. Just tie that on. So a little bit of a whip finish in that and so you keep hold of bobbin holder. Slide the bead on, retie the thread on the back. And I'm going to do an underbody on this. I'll put a bit of varnish on just to make things uh, more secure. We don't want it dropping to pieces. I'm going to wind it in tight turns. So I want to build body up a little bit. Reasonably tight turns down to where I want the, uh, the tail to start and back up again. I'm going to build up at the uh, back of this bead. The thread I'm using is a uh, uh, Venyard's. Glow bright number four. So I don't like the bead to be able to slide down this channel. So I'll move it about what two millimeters away from uh, from the bead. I'm going to tie this marabou. Is uh, it's actually sunburst marabou. And. Uh, the original was more pinky colour marabou, but uh, Lady Bower or any, uh, any peaty water, sunburst is brilliant. So just tidy that up. Uh, again, I'm going to come down in touching turns. because you'll see why in a minute because also under tail so I tell to stop it now you can leave marabou that long if you want to but I like to uh, stick to stick to the gauge and uh, that's the gauge I don't like great big long tails although you may think they catch more but uh, I don't think it makes any difference so I'm going to shorten that don't cut it 
don't cut it, it looks crap when it's cut. So I'll just pinch it off like that. Now, let's see the organza. I'm going to tie the organza with the spiky bits facing up. Like that. Tab needs to be just the length of the body to keep everything nice and touching turns again because I, what I want to do is form what looks like an under rib and wind the organza just like you would in open turn, just a slight open turn so that you can see the glow bright floss underneath it like that then around the head a couple of turns lift it up in air put the thread over it pull it forward so you get in between one of the uh, two other strands. Trim it off as close as you can. There's enough organs there to tie another two flies. And I'm going to just build the head up. At the back of that. With finishing tool. Use your hands if you want to. Four or five turns, pull it tight. Trim the thread to the coat of varnish. And now I like to varnish on the bead as well as on the thread. Beads seem to last a bit longer before it knocks paint off them. Right round. Another coat of varnish. And that's the fly done. Make sure the eye's clean. Easy to tie. Easy to tie organs. It looks nice and it'll certainly catch you a few fish.